Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it's September 1st which means it is time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, see this month's sketch, find out what makes it special, and see the first set I made. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel and you're going to be interested in downloading my free printable, make sure to click on that subscribe button below and go ahead and tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. It is the 1st of September, which means it is time for a new sheet load of cards and I am super excited for this month. Just like last month where we used 6x6 pattern paper, this month is another special edition. You might already be able to tell it, I have done a slimline edition. Yes, we are going to be making 6 slimline cards if you follow the supply list and the cutting guidelines for September 2020. I know many of you enjoyed last month's special edition and I hope that you enjoy this month's just as much. If you're new to Sheetload of Cards, let me tell you a little bit about it. Each month I like to stop by with a new free printable for my subscribers where I give a sketch for the month, a supply list, and cutting guides so you can make a sheet load of cards. Usually that's anywhere from about 6 to 12 cards using maybe 2 or 3 pattern papers and some cardstock. The printable is always two pages. On the first one, you have the sketch and supply list. So I tell you what paper you need and what card stock, how many cards you'll yield. And then if you only want to make one card, I do go ahead and give you the dimensions of all of the individual pieces. I also like to give you some alternative ideas and those are always here at the bottom. You can always add die cuts, sparkle, use foam tape to adhere your layers for some more dimension. You can always check out right down here for some ideas. The second page has the cutting diagrams that you'll use to cut your papers. I try to be as specific as possible to make this easy for you. September sheet load will yield you six slim line cards and all you'll need to do that are two pieces of pattern paper and eight pieces of cardstock. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a project share and showing you the first set of cards I made this month. And then tomorrow, I will be back with the process video that shows you how I put these together and gives you a couple tips along the way. Also tomorrow, my team of collaborators will be joining me and sharing their cards that they have made this month. So make sure to stop back by, see how I made these, and then go visit those collaborators YouTube channels, Instagram accounts, and blogs. If you want to go ahead and get a jump start on that and get subscribed and follow everyone, they are all listed in the description box below. And make sure to keep watching if you want to find out how to download this printable for free. Before I share with you the set of cards I made this month, I want to give you one tip if you're going to go ahead and get started before I share my process video tomorrow. That is going to be on this white piece here and on the yellow striped piece. Now this piece will look differently sometimes. It will also be the other pattern paper that you cut. But you want to make sure that when you adhere these to the background mat that you align the image or sentiment block toward the top and the pattern paper block toward the bottom. There is actually a gap between those two that is covered up here by CS2B. When I show you the cards later on, that's going to make more sense, but just make sure that you do adhere those away from each other instead of together, because if you adhere them right up next to each other, you're going to have extra matting on the top and or bottom of that. It won't look like the sketch. Let's go ahead and look at some of the supplies I use for this month's set of cards before I show those to you. I tested out a couple new to me tools for this month's card. The first one is my new Spellbinders Prism Mini Die Cutter. This accommodates dies that are up to two and a half inches wide and I bought this 
probably about a month ago. I haven't used it yet because I wanted something that wasn't as big and bulky as my cuddle bug when I needed to cut smaller dies. I got this recently for $15. I mean, can you beat that price? Another new to me tool, and it is actually new, is this new punch from Stampin' Up. You know that I love my triple banner punch that puts fishtails in the ends of larger strips of cardstock, but this punch does a regular fishtail and what I call a reverse fishtail in smaller strips. This is so handy for sentiment strips and I can't wait to use it more. For my sentiments for this month's card, I use Pretty Pink Posh's Everyday Greeting Stamp Set. I just love the cursive mixed with the regular serif font on here. And I use six different ones in here so I would have a variety of cards. I stamp that with Versamark and embossed it with Detail White Embossing Powder. I did a little die cutting and I used these two dies from Spellbinders. Unfortunately, these are discontinued, but they make adorable layered butterflies. For some sparkle on my card, I brought in my Elizabeth Craft Designs clear, I think they're called glitter gems. They're clear circles with a silver outside and they add just the right amount of sparkle and they don't really add any bulk to the card for mailing. And finally, for my pattern paper, I used this Hot by Pad from Michaels called Floral Romance. It had some butterflies in it, so that's why I chose the dies I did. I did use a few more products and tools, and in tomorrow's video, I'll give you more details about that. But for now, why don't we go ahead and take a look at the first set of cards that I made. I wanted to talk a little bit about some things I switched up with this card and additions I made. First of all, instead of putting my sentiment or image on this piece of cardstock up here, I embossed this for some added texture since it was a lot of white space and I did not stamp anything on it. Instead, I adjusted the size of my middle strip here and embossed my sentiment on there. This piece is also popped up on some foam tape for dimension. Also on foam tape is my layered butterfly. The bottom layer is a pattern paper from that same paper pad, and the top is a layer of thin vellum. You'll see I added three of those gems in the middle, and I added a couple more on the card front just to kind of make a triangle out of those. If I bring back in the sketch, you'll see here how my middle strip hangs over the edges of the center, and I did that because I was using that new punch and I wasn't sure how much it would take off. Tomorrow you'll see how I did that, but I did end up cutting this a little bit wider than what the cutting instructions call for. That's one of the great things about sheet load is you can adjust it for the tools or the sentiments that you have and make it your own. Now let me tell you how you can download the printable for free. First of all, I do ask that you are a subscriber to my channel. I'm not going to come and verify that or make you email me and prove it for a password. We're just going to go on the honor system. So please, if you're going to click on download or print, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. All the way at the bottom of my description box below is a link to the September 2020 PDF. You'll just click on that. You can view it on screen or you can print it out and use it. As always, if you are going to use it and share your cards online, I would love for you to use the hashtags at the top of the page so I can come see what you've created. If you add these to a YouTube description box or an Instagram post, I will be able to search for those and see what you have made. If you have any questions, make sure to leave those below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. 
I'll see you again tomorrow for the process video. Until then, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.